For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're gonna do this problem which says the block has a mass of 5 kg and rests on a smooth plane. Smooth plane means that there's no friction. Determine the unstretched length of the spring. So you always want to get into the habit of drawing free body diagrams, like I always say. So we got this box right here. We got the weight and we got the tension. Now I like to draw tensions like that to remind to remind myself that it's a it's a spring. So basically what you know about the stench okay hold on let me actually try to draw the angle don't forget it's uh, 45 degrees and you always want to draw the orientation of the x and y so i'm going to use this orientation you could use the orientation of your choice but you always want to use an orientation that makes the problem easier for you so you know that the weight is equal to 5 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second square and it comes out to be 49.05 newtons now look they're also giving you the spring at its current state because they're giving you this very pretty right triangle right here so basically they're telling you that this is point 0.4 and this is point 0.3 so with this triangle let me redraw a triangle right here if this is point 0.4 and this is point 0.3 this hypotenuse let's call it x you know that point 0.4 square plus point 0.3 square is equal to x square so x is going to be equal to 0.5 meters that's the spring at its current state so basically we're going to uh, figure out this angle this angle is very easy to figure out too what you do is you do the tangent inverse of the opposite over adjacent this is basic trigonometry so this angle comes out to be 36.9 degrees so now that you have all these values it becomes very easy what you do is you know that the sum of the forces in the x is zero in statics knowing that look at the free body diagram you know that if this is 45 degrees this is also 45 degrees that's important to know so you know that in the x negative weight sine of 45 degrees that's this component of the weight right here which will be the x component of the weight let's call it wx negative w sine of 45 plus the force of the spring let's call it f of sp times the cosine of 36.9 degrees is equal to zero that will be the spring is going this way but i'm talking about this component which is the x component of the force that the spring is doing on the block you know the weight we calculated where is it right here so basically you're gonna get negative 34.7 plus the force of the spring times 0 0.8 is equal to zero so the force that the spring has is equal to 43.4 newtons that's this force right here is equal to 43.4 newtons now that we have the force of the spring you know that the force on a spring is equal to the constant which is given times the 
length minus the unstretched length in other words the initial length of the spring which is what we're trying to find we have the length it's one of the first things we calculated right here the sex we calculated to be 0.5 meters this is given to us and this which is found so all we got to do is solve for the l naught so force of the spring is 43.4 the constant is 200 the stretched length is 0.5 meters and the unstretched length is what we're trying to find so when you solve for the unstretched length you're going to get that it is equal to 0.283 meters final answer please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you